What's up, YouTube? Stat44 coming in with another video. Five things you must have to be comfortable with your truth. Before I get started, I want to give a shout out to all my new subscribers, all my regular subscribers. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and that subscription button in the corner of your screen. Hit that notification bell as well. You get all my videos sent straight to your phone or your devices so I put one up on YouTube. But let's get right into this video. Five things you must have to be comfortable in your truth. At the end of the day, guys, you want to live in your truth. Your truth is everything for who you are as a man, who you are for as a woman. And living in your truth will always validate you for yourself. When you live in your truth, you validate yourself. You don't worry about what other people think. And I feel like this was a very important video because a lot of times with the social media age and dating apps and just the world in general being very uh, digital, that a lot of times people can be who they want to be on social media, on day naps, or just being, you know, just on video games, whatever. Everybody can be a virtual person or, or very virtual, but I want you guys to live in your truth. And I feel like it's five things that you got to master to live in your truth. The first thing you got to do is have the abundance mindset. The abundance mindset is basically understanding that you don't care about what people think you understand who you are as a man, who you are as a woman, and you go out and conquer your dream. So live your life in abundance. Um, it's only one you. You know, life is, not, life is not a dress rehearsal. You only get one shot at life. So be you. Don't worry about nobody else. That's my number one. Number two, top physical condition. Make sure you're working to be in the top physical condition so you can live longer, not look good, but live longer. You want to live longer. Always go to the doctor. Always try to eat healthy. Work out. Be in your top physical condition. Because when you're in your top physical condition and your shape, let's just be real. When you feel good, you look good. When you look good, you feel good. So at the end of the day, when you when you been put in the work, you feel like you you know you're that you belong where you at in life. I know I feel like I'm in my top physical shape at 39 years old, about to be 40 soon. So I'm feeling like I'm in my top physical shape. So I'm feeling, looking good and I'm feeling good. And it goes tenfold when you do the work. All right, number three, financial independence. Make sure, like I said, I said a couple of videos back, when you're in your 20s and your 30s, you probably to be grinding, 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 grinding. And when you get ownership, and you look at your ownership and look at your, I'm building every day I, I get a check. It's going towards my equity. It's going towards my 401k. It's going towards my investments. When you know that you got financial independence or you are an entrepreneur or you're doing things like that, you understand that every time you do something, every day you live, you're building. So make sure you get some financial independence that they make you live in your truth because at the end of the day, when you live in your truth financially with a financial independence, even if you want to go work a part-time job or even if you got some things saved up, if you was working at a job you don't like, you can walk, 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 walk right off that motherfucker. So make sure you got your financial independence secure. Don't be a slave for other people. It's nothing wrong with work for other people, but make sure you got your financial uh, independence together. So if you got to make a move, you can. That's my number three. Number four. Understanding that you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. You know, this is a big one because I feel like a lot of times people don't realize, you know, don't, you know, you can't please everybody. It's guys, it's people that's going to come to this video, not going to listen to the whole video. They're going to put thumbs down. It's people going to hate. You got to realize that the hate, the hate you get, that means somebody know that you're changing people. So when people hate on you or dislike you, just know that you're doing something that's going to change some, somebody. But at the end of the day, you got to accept that people are not going to like you. People, you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. And that's okay. Just worry about who you are as a man and who you are as a woman. Don't worry about what other people think. Because if you start living your life for other people, you're going to be lost. So to stay in your lane, you start looking at other lanes, you're going to crash. That's my number four. Number five, experience in life and skill set. This experience in life in general should make you happy about living in truth because you have seen this rodeo before. 
Just like Peyton Manning back in the day, he used to come to the line, look at what the defense was in, and knew how to attack it. You got to come to your life. You got to wake up in your life, and, and you live for so long. You got to learn how to attack certain situations. You got to understand that this situation is not good for me. This situation is good for me. But sometimes it comes with trial and error. Get knocked down 43 times, get up 44, guys. That's what you got to do. You got to go through some experiences in life. And if your skill set's on point and you got certain skills to take your skills to the next level, that's why it's good to have a college degree. It's good to have a trade. It's good to even know how to drive a forklift. You know what I mean? Jobs people need when they need people that know how to drive uh, machinery as a forklift, uh, uh, crane operator, stuff like that. A skill set will always have you live in your truth because it's always going to be labor jobs. It's always going to be certain things like a barber. Any type of, it's, it's so many skills out there that you need to master. Once you master the skill, you know you can take that skill anywhere. But that was my five things about why a person should be comfortable living in their truth is and I'll go over it one more time. The first thing is you got to have an abundance mindset. You can't care about what people think. You got to understand that, you know, you might hear a bunch of no's, but there will be some yeses in the way, on, on the way. Number two, be at your top physical form. Be at your top physical appearance for anybody, for yourself, you know, because you when you the best looking you, you're going to attract a lot. No matter how old you are, you can always find the best version of yourself in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and on, on down the line. So be in your best physical condition. Number three, financial independence. Make sure you're financially stable at least. And if you're independent, make sure you're independent. But make sure you're financially stable that if you have to, if, 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 if a life changing event happened, that you'll be straight. You'll have at least three, six, three to six months of savings before you have to get another job. So make sure you're financially independent or financially stable. Number four, you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. You got to accept that people are not going to like your message and they're not going to like you because at the end of the day, they're not going to like you because you're, you're talking to them in the long run. A lot of times people don't like my videos because they feel like I'm shining a light on them. When people hear the truth, they run or they put thumbs down or they try to get, you know, they try to, um, what I want to say, rationalize their truth. So just make sure you guys realize you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Keep pushing your message. Keep doing what you got to do to do what you want to do later. And that's what that's what I got to say about that one. And number five and number, and basically number five, I would say number six, but it's kind of two and one. Um, life experience and skill set. You got to realize that you're going to have skills. You got a skill set that make you can walk off a job and get another one like that. Life experience tells you everything about what you need to know about how you should move, what lane you should be in and stay in your lane and master your lane. Don't do nothing that you know you can't do. You know, master who you are. God gave everybody different gifts for a different reason. So ma master who you are as a man, master who you are as a woman, control your skill set plan purpose program stack attack your life stack up your life and i'll holler at you guys on the next video peace